This video is about simple random sampling. And we're hungry, so we wanted to try to figure out how we can incorporate food. Here we have 30 french fries. And we're going to use the number generator to determine which french fries we're going to eat with or without ketchup. All right. Here is the random number generator we used in class. We're going to get one set of numbers and we're going to use 15 numbers per set ranging from 1 to 30. This will give us the numbers that we want to use to eat our french fries with ketchup. There's our set of numbers right there. So the numbers with ketchup are going to be 19, 23, 4, 3, 12, 20, 25, 26, 1, 28, 28, 9, 7, 29, 24, and 6. So here we have the numbers that we are going to eat with ketchup after we did our simple random sampling by putting all the numbers into a random sampler. Let's stretch out this food until I can get it. Here are the remaining french fries after using the random number generator that we are going to eat without ketchup. Two. Five. 8, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, and 27. Alright, so see, as we can tell from our numbers, we went 1 to 29, 1 to 29, and we determined that we would get an equal set of 15 numbers for each set. So now we know, by looking at our, our chart here, that we have 15 fries that we will eat with ketchup, and 15 fries that we will eat without ketchup. And this was all done with random sampling by generating these numbers through a random sampler. Alright, so with this conclusion of our study and the conclusion of this video assignment, we have figured out which fries through from our graph or our chart here, now we can figure out which ones we can eat with or without ketchup. So now, let's eat.